What's boys and girls? The Oscars were yesterday, and Frances McDormand took home the gold for best leading best leading actress in a motion picture movie that came out in 2017. That had moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> moving pictures. The other people that were nominated: Sally Hawkins, Sally uh, Hawkins Saoirse, Saoirse Ronan, Ronan, Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird, we have Margot, Margot Robbie, Robbie for I Tanya, and Meryl Streep for, for The Post. The Post. Now looking through the nominees, I feel like four of them. Out of five of them were all deserving, and I would not have been surprised if any four out of those five would have won. The fifth one being Meryl Streep. I don't know. I think she just got nominated because she's like <laughs> it's Meryl grandmother. Streep. She's grandmothered in <laughs> for it or whatever. Wait, but you're opposite Tom Hanks. You got Steven Spielberg movie. Get in there, baby. Get in, Get in, there. in there. But Sally Hawkins having just I don't know a handful of lines. Or any no lines. lines? No lines? No lines. All She's gestures and it was all facial expressions, man. She had the least to work with. She the least to work the with. Least to work and with. I feel like it was great that she had the kudos um, to get nominated for this yes. because, like I said, I wouldn't have been surprised if she won. Right. Um, Margot Robbie for I, Tonya. Oh, man. I thought she, I mean, like, honestly, that was probably my favorite performance out of the, the five just because, um, it was intense. Mm -hmm. it, it was, was intense. intense. And, like, it didn't seem like, it seemed like she... I, Tanya, Tanya Harding was the type of character that just, you know, was unapologetic in her own right. Like, it was because of her upbringing. It was because of, you know, like, her mom was just hard and tough on her. And she made the best out of a bad situation. And without Margot Robbie, you could see that frustration and all that pain really brought out in this film. And I thought Margot Robbie did fantastic on top of looking good the whole time. We also have Shersha Ronan for, for Lady Bird. Bird. I thought the writing for Lady Bird was better than the characters for Lady Bird. Like, Shersha Ronan, great. Like, I'm not saying she's bad. I'm not even saying the writing's bad. There's something about how it was on screen. Like, she came off as just annoying mm -hmm. as shit. Like, if I was your mom, I'd be on your case the whole time, too. And I guess that was the point of it. Yeah. To, you know, the, the, the mom versus daughter clashing constantly all at the same time. I was getting a headache just looking at it. I can only imagine what the, the daughters and moms of America or around the world go through when it's this serious, when it's something exactly like this. I thought Shosh Rona did well. I wouldn't have been surprised if she won, but I don't think she was my top for winning. She was probably like right above Meryl Streep. Mm. So not that high of that. Not, I mean, so she's she four out of there. five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that high, no, 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 not at all. But in the end, Frances McDormand. She takes home the gold for home. three billboards, and it's funny because like Sam Rockwell wins Best Actor, Best Supporting oh, sorry, Actor, Best Supporting Actor. Yeah. Uh, Woody Harrelson's uh, nominated for Best Supporting Actor, and then she takes home the gold. This movie has just some great, great acting in it, and I feel like I've heard some people complain that. This is a character that she always does. She's just playing right. Frances McDormand. This right, is right. Who she is. Like, if you saw the acceptance speech at the Oscars, it was great. She was talking about equality and she was um, trying to get more inclusion for, um, you know, women into Hollywood. Right. And it was great. Which, but, it was, yeah. but that's who she is. Yeah. And she's very similar to the character that she was playing in right. Real Wars. Frances McDormand playing Frances McDormand. Playing Frances McDormand. It's amazing. The one thing I kind of have a gripe with with this performance is that she's kind of one range like she's just angry yeah the whole time and i feel like i've heard from different people and you can see it throughout your life like anger is the easiest feeling to portray because it makes people believe that you're strong when you're actually really vulnerable and i guess that is part of you know the movie she is very vulnerable in this movie but you just see that anger the whole time and it's just kind of like okay but i want to see some more vulnerability i want to see you being sad i want to see you being but she's just mad the whole time and i'm kind of like okay this is cool but it gets old yeah a little like halfway through the movie she's just angry and i mean i would be too if my daughter was raped and burned and killed and yeah. murdered and all this stuff but i think for a movie i'm gonna have that range give me some range give me that range and you know she did phenomenal with the, the script, what she was given. Same with Sam Rockwell, they all did good. Um, but like I said, I think it was her performance for me was a little one note without mm. me ruffling too many feathers. I think in the end, I would have liked uh, Sally Hawkins to win. Yeah. That's just my personal preference. Wish Sally Hawkins would have won. I just loved her performance so much. I mean, um, just taking away her ability to speak and having right. her try to convey all these emotions, try right. to convey how she was feeling strictly by her facial reactions, her physical motions, and 
just signing. Well, and the thing I love about Sally Hawkins in this movie too is that you can tell from all these other women who were nominated, her character is like, honestly, the most lovable. She's the most like one that's just like, she's innocent, but she's not weak. No. You know, she's like vulnerable, but she's still like strong. She portrays her being like very vulnerable, but strong at the same time. And that's a lot of, in the end, Frances McDormand wins. And Frances McDormand. What'd you guys think of that? Who do you think should have won instead of Frances? Or do you think Frances should have won? Please comment below, talk to us. We love to get in conversations with you guys and see what you guys think because we love just talking movies, man. We love it. We can't just keep talking to each other the entire Come time. Come on, man. I know you guys saw these movies. boring. Come on. We're also on <laughs> Instagram. Well, at Black and Yellow Movies. Same exact name. You can follow us. Stay up to date on all the things Black and Yellow. We do movie facts, movie reviews. We have our 30-second trailer reactions and 30-second movie synopsis reviews. All of those All of those things. things. And yes. we have a plethora of posts detailing some of our favorite independent and foreign films of the past years. So it is the best way to stay up to date on Black and Yellow movies. And like us on Facebook, and we'll see you guys next time.